there are so many people that found it very difficult to accept the fact that all Africans are one. And the most amusing one was even Africans are finding it difficult to accept that we are one. Because the white man came because the white man came and divided us, gave us boundaries and gave us different official languages. They thought they are different. In actual fact, we are one. Here is proof that we are all Africans are the same or we are one. There are in so many scenarios that we found out that there are people in Ghana that in one way or the other are connected to people in Nigeria. There are people in Ghana connected to people in Benin and vice versa. It goes all the way around. There are people in as much as Senegal that are connected to people in Cameroon and so many places. This alone shows that we are one, but we find it difficult to understand. This is a video to show you that there are people in Cote d'Ivoire that actually speak three, a very common language in Ghana. In fact, if I may not be lying, the most common language right here in Ghana, after the official language. As a Ghanaian traveling within this beautiful country, I found so many similarities between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire that made me question the origin of the people of Cote d'Ivoire. I even met people that interacted with me in a common language that we speak in Ghana, which is Tree. And to my surprise, they were Ivorians, thinking that they were Ghanaians. What can you find? No, I'm not sure. No, we are Ghanaian, so we are Ivorians. No, we are Ivorians. Okay. No, we are Ghanaian. Who are you Ghanaian? Well, it's a tree, no? It's a tree. Now, I'm Ivorian, I'm not Ghanaian. I'm a, I'm a Ivorian. Ivorian. Oh wow. Um, is that Aquaba? Yes. Aquaba means what? What is your tribe in Ghana? I, I'm an Akan. Akan. In every case, again, I am Akan. Really? Why? In every case, we have uh, four big groups, mm -hmm. but we have sixty-two tribes. First, Akan group. Most of them provide from Ghana. We have similar culture. For example, you use Kente. Yeah. We use Kita. Kita and Kente are similar. Just the name we change. Do you understand? Wow. Do you understand? I really Kente? understand, yeah. Okay. It's why now we use Aquaba again to say welcome. You also say Aquaba, which yes, is welcome. And we have a a place which is not far of the uh, from the airport, mm -hmm. which is called Aquaba. Wow! Yes. Do you know uh, the Queen Ablapoku? No. So, let's go back to history. In the 18th century, a queen named Ablapoku was born. She was the niece of the king Ose Tutu, the co founder of the Ashanti Empire in Ghana. When the king died, a succession war broke out. Ablapoku's second brother, who was one of the heirs to the throne, was killed. Fearing for her life and family, Ablapoku fled. She led her people from modern-day Ghana to Ivory Coast around 1770, where she founded the Baole Nation. It is believed that she sacrificed her son to the river so that her people could cross the river. She arrived in front of a river and she sacrificed her baby and appear a bridge of hippopotamus and the people cross over and when she when they finish to cross the bridge disappear and the Ashanti people return and she saved his people is why she called Bauli Bauli which means in Ashanti language my son is that. Yeah. It's why today we call them Baule. And Baule is the most important group of Ivory Coast.